Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be making stuffed peppers. Now this is one of my go-to dishes for the following reasons. One, it's quite simple to make. Two, you can make it in advance, which I'm a super fan of because if you have friends coming over for dinner or if you're just busy that night, you can make this ahead of time and just pop it in the oven when you're ready. Three, you can get quite creative with this dish. You can throw in any types of vegetables or meats that you like. You can make it vegetarian, you can make it healthy. It's a very versatile dish. And finally, it's something that both my husband Dan and I like, which is rare because we have very different tastes in food. So anytime I can find something we both enjoy, it's obviously a bonus. So I will post the recipe and the ingredients in the description box below. And if you have any questions or comments or feedback, if you decide to make the dish, please let me know in the comments below as well. I would love to hear how it turns out. Okay, great, let's get started. To begin, heat up half a cup of quinoa with one cup of water. Once that comes to a broil, reduce the heat, cover, and let that simmer for about 12 minutes. I really need a new pot. In the meantime, you want to heat up a couple tablespoons of olive oil over medium high heat. Next, you're going to chop up half an onion. Now, I really like garlic, so I'm using five or six cloves, but two or three should be fine. Once your pan is nice and hot, add the onion and let that saute for a couple of minutes, and then add in your garlic. Yep, that's a lot, but I love it. Now, once your quinoa is ready, remove it from the heat and just fluff it with a fork. Let that cool down. Next, I'm slicing up a couple of mushrooms. I don't typically use them, but just felt like it. Add them to the pan and let it cook for five minutes. Now for your meat. So I normally like to use ground turkey as it's healthier, but for some reason, it's not as readily available here in London. And so I'm using minced beef I got from my local butcher, the Ginger Pig, here in Marlebone. You should check them out if you're close. Oh, and don't forget to season as you go along. I'm also going to add some red chili flakes for a bit of heat. While that cooks through, I'm going to chop up and add some green onion, as well as a couple of small tomatoes. Add about a quarter to half a cup of tomato or marinara sauce and half a cup of chicken stock. Now, I was also not able to find liquid stock here, so I'm using one cube, which I think might be slightly more, but it's all good. Next, add the quinoa, mix it all together, and there you go. Your filling is done. Now's a good time to heat your oven, so 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 200 degrees Celsius in London, or gas mark six. Now we're ready to work on our peppers. So sometimes I like to use whole peppers, and other times I like to cut them in half, which I'm doing now. So I've already washed them, and now I'm removing the stem and the seeds. prefer whole peppers, just cut around the stem as such, and then remove what you can with your hands. I also like to give it a quick rinse to get the remaining seeds out at the end. Place your peppers in a baking dish and add salt. Next, fill them. going to add some more marinara sauce to the bottom to keep the peppers moist and you can also drizzle the sauce on top after they're out of the oven. Cover with foil and into the oven for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes take out the peppers and if you like add some cheese. 
You could use mozzarella, white cheddar, or parmesan would be really nice. I'm only topping a few for myself as Dan wants them healthy and I don't. Finally, put them back in the oven for about 10 minutes on broil and you're done. Thanks for watching and good luck.